So just had my pre-workout, made my protein shake. So that's got two scoops, salty caramel, BCAA, glutamine and creatine in it. So these are them here. So that's the L-glutamine that I put in. It's just one scoop, one scoop BCAA. My creatine. I, oh, and I also add a bit of dextrose to make it sweeter and the salt and caramel. So I got that, chuck that in my gym bag. Also, can't leave without my water bottle. Today I'm going to be training back and it is a straight day so hopefully it's all quiet in the gym while training and I get some good footage for you guys. Hopefully see you all in the car. in the car now so off to go train back hopefully be a good session it is Australia day here like I said uh, earlier so it's a bit quiet it's a public holiday now there's no one on the roads which is good so hopefully I get to the gym uh, and it's the same nice quiet and empty but going to train some back going to really focus on like lap pull downs and pull ups and a bit like that today Hopefully be really good. Now I'm still a little bit sore from the deadlifts and that yesterday, which I don't mind because it's always good fun being sore after training legs like that. But I was watching a video this morning on Cassie Neistate. So he got a new camera, the Sony A7S, I think it is. And he's really convinced me to go get the Sony A5100 when I save up for it. So he was saying that the Sony has a lot better uh, definition and takes a more quality type of photo he's used Canon all in the past I think it was the 80D he said he's had 12 or 11 of so I'm really looking at the Sony because I do trust other people's opinion for that I do love the G7X like it does look a really good camera and it's really works well in low light but I've been looking at the Sony's and they really take some really nice photos which I like to do a lot because I use a lot of my photos off my camera and even if I do need uh, my camera for low light I'll be using this little Canon so at least uh, if I can save up for that and hopefully sell my golf clubs I'll be looking at getting that uh, little Sony camera and it does have the interchangeable lenses which is really good because that way I can take some different angles or like the fish eye effect and that so he's really changed my mind for that so definitely going to be looking more in depth for that and hopefully getting a better memory card because mine's playing up with the computer as for now going to go smash back hopefully be a good session and see you all inside the gym this is like the go-to camera for vloggers these days why not just help so that's just a quick uh, little clip of the video I was telling you about on the Sony review he was talking about. So it's the best vlogging camera, uh, Sony vs Canon. So go check it out. Um, he does say some pros and cons about the camera, but yeah, definitely he's changed my mind and I'm, I really love the ca uh, Sony. But now at the gym, going to go smash back. Hopefully see you all inside the gym. Also, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button as always. Let's go smash it. Back in the car now. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any footage in the gym as there was a lot of uh, trainers around and a lot of people in there uh, for Australia Day. So I think everyone just wanted to train or something. But I'll put up on screen now what I trained and I'll run you through it as well. So first off, I started training. Uh, I started off with pull-ups. I did three sets of 10 reps each with about a 30 or 60 second rest in between. Then I moved on to the lat pull down, four sets. I started off 12 reps, dropped a pin, uh, 10, 10, and then eight. Then moved on to the close grip row. So that was uh, seated. I was doing three sets of 10 by that. So it was going really eccentric when uh, releasing backwards. Then moved on to rope pull down. So it was doing four sets of 20. And that was say like five pins down. And then I waited or rested 30 seconds put it a pin lower, 15, then a pin lower, 12, and then another pin. So it was going heavier each one and finished off with 10 reps. Now on that, 10, that 10th rep, it was extremely hard to try and push out. Moved on to seated underarm row, which is uh, like you put your chest on it and your underarm. I was doing about 85 kilos each arm that. I did three sets of eight. So really uh, trying to hold it uh, when contracted and then slowly releasing it. 
So there wasn't too many exercises today, but because it was quite busy and I'm a little bit tired at the moment, uh, I just sort of went light and really went higher reps and it ended up hurting a lot. Like the rope pull downs hurt a lot more than what you'd think. So I've put the work up now or just before for you if you want to try that out. It's just a quick and easy little back one, but does hurt. If you can't do pull ups, try um, working on your lat pull downs, going really heavy and eccentric and also the assisted uh, pull-up machi machine because that does really help you. But now going to go home for a stray day, maybe make some lamingtons and relax for the rest of the day. So I've just come back home, finished taking some photos in Gymshark, Legends of Muscle Wear and a few other different brands. So hopefully they'll all be up on my Instagram during the week. Be sure to go check that out. All the links are in the bio. <laughs> So today we're doing a review on the Total Nutri Greens by My Protein. So it has 22 key ingredients. Three that you want to point out is the vitamin K, vitamin B12 and vitamin C. So I'm going to do a taste test and to see how well it mixes. So it's just one scoop that you level out and I'm just putting it in my shaker with some cold water. And we'll see how well it mixes. So I'm trying the tropical flavour today just because I didn't like the natural flavour. So we'll see how this one tastes. So I've just shaken it for about 10 to 20 seconds and it looks alright. Pour it out. So it's not clumpy at all or foamy like some other green companies. So now I'm just going to taste test it and see what it's like. So my first reaction is it's a quite a sweet flavour, it's not too sickly sweet or anything like that and you can't taste the broccoli or any of the other ingredients that are in it that make it quite strong and healthy for you. So overall the flavouring is really good. Mixability as you can see there, it's not too bad. At the bottom you probably just want to mix it a little bit longer but if it was chilled with ice it would probably taste really nice. But that's just my quick little review on the Total YouTube Greens by MyProtein. <laughs> <laughs>